What's going on world? This is your boy B and welcome to another episode where the truth lives here. On this episode, we're going to talk about the side effects of minoxidil. This has been a highly requested episode. So with that being said, let's get right in to it. Now, people always ask me, hey B, um, you know, what are the side effects of minoxidil? Can I use it on my face? Can I use it on my, my, my scalp? Um, yeah, you can. People have used it on their scalp, you know, and also people have used it on their face and they've seen some results. But let me kind of break down to you exactly what, what minoxidil is for a start and then we can get into uh, the side effects, all right? So minoxidil is a topical medication. I mean, it's used for hair loss. Uh, it's also a study that's found that um, it, it either shortens the telogen phase or it extends the antigen phase. The telogen phase is the shedding uh, phase. It's the phase where your, your hair is not growing. The antigen phase is where your hair is growing. So it has that effect to prolong the antigen phase. And so minoxidil is a medication and like all uh, medications, it does have primary effects and side effects. So just keep that in mind. Um, so you want to make sure you be aware of when you are using or you're going to begin um, the minoxidil treatment um, that there are some ramifications that could um, show itself as you are using this particular treatment. So let's get into the side effects. What are the side effects? Well, one, skin and ir irritation. Depending on the formulation, um, the most common side effects of minoxidil is skin irritation. Um, and depending on where you put it, if you're putting it on a certain spot on your face, for your beard, or on your scalp, there could be some irritation that you will experience. Another side effect is skin rash. Minoxidil users have developed a rash or can experience a mild burning sensation after using the spray or, fo or foam. So if you've used a minoxidil, you may have experienced skin, a skin rash. Now they say many minoxidil products contain uh, propylene uh, glycol, uh, which is a uh, which can which is the ingredient um, that which is an ingredient uh, with minoxidil that can lead to rash irritation when you apply it topically on your scalp and or on your on your beard. The third side effect I want to talk about is increased hair loss, and as I said earlier, your the minoxidil will. Um, will take your hair from telogen to antigen, right? From shedding to growth. And it will take it through this particular hair growth cycle pretty rapidly. So you will experience the um, increased hair loss. You're like, yo, man, this is supposed to be making my hair grow. Why am I hair shedding? That's due to the fact that it's removing a lot of those uh, hairs that are just not, you know, just it's just not serving you at this particular time. And there is a study that shares how this particular process is pretty normal. Um, it's called Mechanism and How Minoxidil Works. So you can check out that particular study. Uh, there should be a link down at the bottom. Now let's kind of get into uh, some other ex uh, side effects from when you are excessively, excessively using the medication, all right? Side effects from excessively using the medication. And this is going to be including dizziness, lightheadedness, painting, uh, fainting, not painting, <laughs> chest pains, headaches, Flushing, blurred, or ultra vision. You know, you're trying to see, you can't see what's going on out here. What's going on? <laughs> Numbness of the face, hands. I can't feel my face. Swelling of the face and hands and feet. Oh man, what's going on? I can't fit my shoes. And then, you know, rapid weight gain. Man, what's going on? I'm losing weight. What, I ain't even, what, what, what's going on? I don't know if I like it, love it, or hate it. The point of it is, is that minoxidil. People who've experienced or used minoxidil, they've seen results, all right? But they, they do, it does come with some side effects because it is a medication overall. I'm not here to tell you to use it or not to use it. I'm just here to give you the information that's gonna empower you so you can make your own decision. Okay, so please watch our previous episode. Be on the lookout for our next episode. Leave your comments at the bottom for any topic you want us to cover. This is your boy B. I appreciate you for rocking with me. As always, I'm out.